Joey Camasta. Kayla Presley. Do you see yourself heading for stardom? Oh, it's my dream. So you see so many people get to the top. Right. And what happens to them as soon as they get there? Their sex tech leaks. Let me just vet you. Let me vet you. Just to see if I'm on the, on the right trajectory? If there's something going on, we can get rid of it now. Handle it now before it's, you know, before it's just kind of stardom and then... Do you have any, like, lewd type of videos or anything like that? Yes. Wait, what? I was in a, a cocksucking orgy. A full of, like, 19 in my, in my small hotel room with no air conditioning. You and Glenny Balls are going to get along just fine. I had, I had a feeling. Is it true that you're also a makeup artist? Yes, by trade. I, that's how I got my, my name in the game. You know who I think wears makeup? Who? Oh. Clowns. Yeah. Or is that face paint? No, that's both. It could be makeup or... You ever had a clown at a birthday party? Not recently. Really? My mother used to work at Ringling Brothers in Barnum & Bailey Circus. What was her act? She worked at the retail store. Oh. Um... Glenny Balls was thinking about trying to put on some blackface. Could you help him with that? Yeah. If you finish someone's makeup yeah. and they're done, does that mean that they're made up? Yes. What about the female orgasm? Is it made up or is it real? It's real, but you can't give it to her. Well, I know that. No one can. I know. Except those little bullets from the catalogs. What is makeup? What is it? Powders, creams, mm -hmm. gels, liquids. What do you say to people who say, I don't need to put powder on my nose to feel confident. I feel confident enough by putting powder in my nose. You can't powder your face with cocaine because it won't blend out. Are most of your customers on drugs? Yes. Mm -hmm. And are you on drugs? Yes. Glenny? No. Drug-free body. Is that how you stay in such good shape? Exactly. Strictly alcohol, no, no drugs. Never done a drug. That's smart. Alcohol doesn't do nothing to you. Stop. What? I don't like to think about that. I know there's side effects. You're a man of many hats. Do you mind if we do a new segment presented by Sunday Conversation Hats and Sweatshirts? I'd be honored. You know you have, that's the trans flag colors. That's why you did that? No, it's not. Oh. Now these would be great for a gender reveal. Really? If there were genders, but there aren't. Correct. Trick question, I set you up, you set yourself up, and you passed. This is called makeup. Okay. I'm gonna make up a situation. And for the rest of the interview, or just for this segment, you're just gonna interview as if this, it's made up, or you're gonna interview like it's true. Okay. So let's just say you, you killed a homeless man and his beautiful baby dog. Oh no. Why are we more upset about the baby dog? Because the man was gonna die anyway. But all dogs go to. Yeah, but like I could have saved that dog. I would have brought the dog inside and helped it. Like I wouldn't have brought the man inside. Why not? Let's move on from this thing. I would blow a homeless guy. What else are you into? You're a podcast host? I'm a podcast host. Well, I'm a storyteller, first and foremost. And what is your podcast about? Uh, it's essentially, it's about two unhinged gays and, you know, the patriarchy that comes along with that. <laughs> Patriarchy's out. I'm in. What do you say to people who say homosexuals are gay? I would agree. What do you say to people who say your podcast is all talk? They'd be right. Is it true that they call your co-host Gay Pat? Oh, Gay Pat, yes. But do you think that's even really necessary for them to even include the word Pat? No. Why even do it at this point? We know what everyone's talking about. Coming from the world of makeup, why do they call it a makeup artist but then a podcast herb? Makeup artist podcast er. er. Do you like saying words with ER at the end? Yes. Whisper. Danger. Danger. Tigger. He's one of my favorites. He bounces on his tail. Glenny Balls, how are you feeling over there? You haven't said much. You haven't asked me questions, dog. We're interviewing Joey. Then why would I talk? You're interviewing Joey. Sometimes you chime in with something funny. Sometimes you don't. He's probably intimidated because I'm a celebrity. I'm terrified of you, Joey. Is there anything else you'd like to plug? And I know what you're thinking, and that's not what I mean. 